Hello, hello everyone, good evening. Hi, hello. Hello, teacher. Hi, Adriana, welcome. All right, Hi, teacher. Hi, Andrea, welcome, bienvenidas. All right, welcome back everyone to your English class. Just give me one sec. Today is Monday, April 24th, 2023. We are working on section two. What do you do? Class number five. Okay, so let's move on. We have a specifically a specific vocabulary that I'm gonna share with you just in a second. Let me just um, search for the video. Good evening. Hi, Guadalupe. How are you doing? How are you? Hi, I'm fine. And you? I'm great. Thank you so much for asking. Thank you. All right. Let's share the video, everyone. Veamos el video, please. Uh, espero que puedan escuchar el audio. Here we go. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary for furniture and other household items. Let's get started by listening and repeating the vocabulary. Armchairs, stove, curtains, pictures, clock, bed, table, coffee table, microwave oven, Refrigerator, lamps, sofa, desk, bookcase, dresser, chairs, mirror, rug, television. Other vocabulary that is important to understand is kitchen, dining room, living room, bedroom. And now let's practice using the vocabulary that we just heard by making statements about your kitchen, dining room, living room, and bedroom. For example, my living room has a sofa, a rug, <clears throat> and a television. My dining room has. After you complete this exercise, please share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, so as you got to share that in the discussion forum, let's practice the vocabulary and then the sentences. So we first have this vocabulary. Let's practice together, okay? I'm going to be doing this alone first. Then you are going to be alone. We have armchairs, stove, curtains, no es curtains, it's curtains, curtains, pictures, clock, bed, desk, television, rug, sofa, no es sofa, es sofa, lamps, refrigerator, Mirror, chairs, microwave oven, coffee table, table, bookcase, and dresser. Okay? Now, my dear students, it's your turn. So, <clears throat> do I have a volunteer? Tengo un voluntario que me diga el vocabulary first. Excellent, Miguel. Action. Good evening. Armchairs. Stop, curtains, pictures, clock, bed, desk, lamps, sofa, television, rug, refrigerator, mirror, chairs, microwave oven, coffee table, table, bookcase, and dresser. Perfect. Repeat after me. Curtains. Curtains. 
La A no la menciona, solo sería curtains. Curtains. All right, very good. Thank without, you. Without A. Yeah, without A, pero es como si usted eleva las primeras tres consonantes. Bueno, es una consonante, bueno, sí, ya. Yeah. The first three consonants, you go uh -huh. higher, va, va alto, y luego baja con ends. Curtains. Mm -hmm. Right. Curtains. Yes. Curtains. Very okay. good. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Let's go with Andrea. Action, Andrea. Okay. Archive. Tall. Curtains. Pictures. Club. Bed. Table. Microwave. Oven. Refrigerator. Ref Uh, refrigerator microwave oven microwave oven refrigerator refrigerator lamp desk sofa row television mirror chairs coffee table bookcase and dessert okay repeat after me sofa sofa dresser Dresser. Excellent, thank you, right? Bye. Les voy a pedir que please, 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 por favor, prestemos atención cuando yo esté dando el vocabulary, right? Yo sé que más de algunos nos podemos confundir y ahí de, de pronto decimos mal una palabra y para eso estoy yo, para ayudarles. Pero si el error se comete en más de dos personas, ya habiendo dado el example, habiendo escuchado el audio, eh, habiéndolo hecho yo y habiéndolo hecho sus compañeros de la manera correcta y aún así nos seguimos equivocando, no es porque no podamos o porque no nos entre, es que no estamos prestando atención. We're doing other things. Estamos haciendo otras cosas, ¿ok? So, eh, my advice for you, mi consejo es que esté en la clase en el momento que esté en la clase. Tenga sus anotaciones y como escuche la pronunciation, usted puede escribirlo, ¿ok? No problem whatsoever. So here we go. Let's go with the next one. Vamos con la siguiente, que sería... Um, <clears throat> let me pick and choose. Yo voy a escoger. Let me have... Christian Giovanni, please. Uh, good night, teacher. Good evening. Uh, ah, good evening. Uh, our chairs, uh, slow, curtains, Victor, clock, Bed, table, micro, micro, oven, eh, refrigerator, eh, lamps, desk, sofa, eh, row, television, mirror, chase, eh, coffee table, dress, bookcase. Okay, repeat after me. Curtains. Curtains. All right, la no me la mencioné. Curtains. 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 Ins. Curtains. Yes. Curtains. Yes. Pictures. Pictures. All right, uh, vamos a ver otra. My microwave. Micro, microwave. Oh, one. Yes. Yes. Y el otro sería dresser. Dresser. Excellent. Thank you, Christian. Thank you so much. Let's go with yeah, the next you. one. You're welcome. My pleasure. Let's go with Cindy, please. And after Cindy, eh, Oscar Otoniel. Action. Hello. Um, armchairs, stove, curtains, pictures, clock, bed, desk, lamps, Refrigerator, sofa, television, rug, mirror, chairs, dresser, bookcase, coffee table, table. Perfect, thank you. Let's go with Oscar, please. And after Oscar, Alison Stephanie, action. Answers, stop. Curtains, pictures, clock, bed, desk, lamps, refrigerator, microwave oven, table, coffee table, bookcase, dresser, 
chairs, mirror, rug, sofa, television, desk, lamps. All right, repeat after me, sofa. Sofa. Oven. Oven? Yes, oven, that's correct, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Let's go with Alison, please. After Alison, it would be Adriana Burgos, action. Good evening. Armchairs, stove, table, coffee table, bookcase, dresser, counter, microwave oven, chairs, refrigerator, mirror, sofa, room, televisions, decks, lamps, bed, clock, picture. All right, excellent. Let's keep practicing that vocabulary. I can continue practicing this vocabulary, all right? Thank you. Thank you, Alison. Uh, let's, just as a matter of fact, all right, solo para que tengan un, um, un preámbulo también, los que faltan de participar. Curtains. Curtains. La otra sería refrigerator. Si ustedes me dicen refrigi, hasta ahí se quedan, no me están diciendo nada. Es refrigerator. Lo demás sería rug. La otra que he visto que les cuesta es rug. Rug. Y la más sencilla de todas, pero ya noté que también les cuesta, es sofa. Me siguen diciendo sofá y es sofa. Sofa, all right? Es como mango, all right? Eh, se escribe mango, pero se pronuncia mango. Mango, all right? Bananas. Bananas. Let's go with the next one. Vamos con la siguiente, eh, which it was. Ah, bueno, Adriana dijo que no puede. <clears throat> Let's go with Wendy López. After Wendy, Guadalupe Aguilar. Armchairs, stuff, curtains, picture, clock, bed, desk, um, lamps, uh, refrigerator, sofa, televisions, rug. Miro, chairs, dresser, bookcase, coffee table, microwave oven, table. Thank you, Miss Lopez. Thank you. Now, if you were watching me laughing, si de repente ahí me vieron reírme, let me tell you that my dog opened my door. Mi perrito abrió la puerta. Entonces, me sorprendió un montón que de repente ella entra como, I'm here, aquí estoy, acaríciame, all right? So, I'm really sorry about it. Si me vieron reír fue por eso, realmente. Vine, vine cabalito a las 8 para iniciar mi primera clase. There was a lot of traffic, había muchísimo tráfico y ella se va despertando, entonces hasta ahorita me va reconociendo. And she's pretty old. Y está bien viejita. Así que, sorry if I was laughing. Me disculpo de antemano si me vieron reír, pero fue por eso, ¿ok? So let's go with Guadalupe, action. Okay, armchairs, stove, curtains, pictures, clock, bed, desk, television, rug, sofa, lamps, mirror, refrigerator, chairs, microwave oven, table, coffee table, bookcase, and dressers. Impressive, very good, great job. Let's go with the next one. Vamos con la siguiente, eh, o el siguiente. Which is going to be Jose Pedro, please. After Jose Pedro, Carlos Ernesto. Okay, we don't have Jose in the classroom. Let's go with Carlos. <clears throat> Hello, uh, I'm Chase, uh, Corting, uh, Pink, Pink, Microwave Oven, uh, Dress, Dress, Table, Coffee Table, Stove, Clothes, uh, Mirror, uh, Lamp, uh, Bell, Desk, Television, uh, Room, uh, refrigerator, refrigerator uh, sofa, uh, child, uh, broadcast. 
All right. Thank you, Carlos. Now, as a piece of advice, let's keep practicing that vocabulary. Practiquemos ese vocabulario, right? Uh, we have the, the option in here that you practice because you listen to your classmates. Aquí todos practicamos porque escuchamos al compañero. Me escuchan a mí, escuchan el video, escuchan el video. Así que recursos hay. Solo es que nosotros prestemos atención y lo practiquemos. Perfect. Now let's go with Victor. You are the last one. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. One child, stew, four things, pictures, clock, bell, lamps, desk, sofa, television, row, mirror, refrigerator, chairs, microwave, oven, table, coffee table, bookcase, dresser. Excellent. Thank you. All right. I'm missing two people. Me hacen falta dos personas, Mayra and Ana, pero ellas van a participar en la siguiente actividad, okay? So, let's listen to Mayra. Please read the guiding example. Léame el ejemplo que tenemos. My living room has sofa, a, a television and bookcase. Perfect, thank you. Let's go with Anna. Anna, let me check. Where is she? ¿Dónde está Anita? Ah, there you are. Anna Melendez, please read the instructions of the practice. Number Hello. one, number two. Practice time were individual, individually, <laughs> sorry, um, to create at least two sentences similar to the guitar example. Right, repeat after me, guiding. Guiding. Yes, that's correct. Thank you, right? So let's work on it, Thank please, you. my dear students. Trabajemos en eso, por favor. I'm going to give you time. Voy a darles tiempo. Voy a dejarles por aquí el ejemplo de cómo lo van a realizar, all right? Como estamos hablando de una parte de su casa, tienen que utilizar has, all right? It's mandatory. So let's work on it. I'm going to give you time.
All right, who has finished? ¿Quién finalizó ya? No one? Ok. Ah, Cindy, perfect. Vamos a ver, solo tenemos dos que han finalizado. Tres. Perfect. Yeah, four, five. Very good. Yay. Okay, let's get started. Let's start with Cindy because as far as I remember, she was the first one. No me bajen la manita, please. Ahí déjenla. Action, Cindy. First, my bedroom has a bed, a closet, and a rug. Mm -hmm. My backyard has flowers, uh, trees, and a little dog running everywhere. Oh, yay, very good, excellent. I'm sorry, but I love dogs. They are my life, basically. Thank you, Cindy. Let's go with Guadalupe and then Miguel. Action Guadalupe. Um, my kitchen has a stove, a refrigerator, and a microwave oven. And my bedroom has a bed, a lamp, a television, and a dresser. Bravo, excellent, congrats, very good. Let's go, Miguel, and after Miguel, Andrea. <laughs> okay. Um, my bedroom has a bed, blinds, and three pillows. Mm -hmm. Very good. And the next That's one, it. la otra oración. Uh, oh, eh, eran dos. <laughs> Yeah, I'm too, sorry. according to the instructions. Uh, yeah, yeah. Solo hice una, perdón. Okay, don't worry, no se preocupe. Está correcta la que hizo. Y eso lo salva. <laughs> All right, thank you. I'm sorry. No okay. lo mandaría a hacerla de nuevo. <laughs> Just mm. kidding, Miguel. Thank you. Okay. Let's thank go you. with Andrea, and then Victor, and then Wendy. Okay, my living room has a sofa, a television, a bookcase, a lamp, a lamp, a clock, and a desk with chairs. And my bedroom has a bed, a sofa, a closet, in in a in a cat. Wow, your bedroom is pretty it's long. It's pretty big. Excellent. Thank you, Andrea. Congratulations. Great job. Let's go with Victor and then Wendy. My room has a chair, a table, a closet, a bed, a television, and lamps. My living room has a chair, a table, a desk, a television, a PlayStation, a sofa. Bravo, excellent, thank you, yes. Now, when I'm noticing, si llego a notar, hasta ahorita en las antes no he notado a nadie con errores gramaticales. Vamos muy bien, all right? Al notar uno, yo les voy a hacer saber para mejorar o corregir eso. Thank you. Let's go with Wendy. Solo, solo hice una, está bien. Sure, it's um, okay. Um, my bedroom has two beds, a table, two chairs, a dresser, a lamp, and a mirror, and a kino. All right, excellent. Thank you, Wendy. That one saved you. Esa la salvó porque le salió correcta. Thank you. Let's go with Anna Melendez and then Allison. <clears throat> my living room has so many pictures of my family because they are so important for me. Oh. Um, and my room has a mirror and computer and television in front of my bed. Great. Bravo, Anna. Excellent. Good job. Let's go with Allison. My living room has television, mirror, clock, picture, sofa. My bedroom has bed, table, mirror, picture, and lamp. Excellent. Now, only in that one, Allison. Ya escuchando su oración, recuerde poner el A. For example, a television. Uh, it has pictures. All right. Si no, si solo me le van poniendo la coma y no me le ponen el artículo indefinido, all right? El artículo definido, sorry. Uh, you're gonna miss a bit. Van, van a perderse un poquito el momento de transmitir la idea. Van a perder a la persona, aunque ustedes entiendan. Ok. Ok. Perfect. Thank you, Alison. That was great. Let's go with Walter, please. Los que ya pasaron okay. pueden ir bajando su manita virtual, please. Ok. My living room has three sofas. A television and 
Daniel Brown a su system. Right, excellent, that's correct, thank you. Now, give me one second, everyone, please. Un segundo. All right, let's continue. Let me listen to Carlos Ernesto, please. And after Carlos, Cristian Giovanni. Uh, in my living room, as a television and a bed. In my living room, as a table. All right, excellent. Simple as that. Thank you so much. And I almost forget, y casi me olvido, Oscar, please, y luego Miguel. Do I have Oscar in the classroom? Yes. Okay, action. <laughs> My bedroom has a television, a bed, and a table lamp. My living room has a window, pictures, a bookshelf, and a plant. Very good, excellent, a plant. Uh -huh. Okay, Miguel, do you have, uh, you. do you want to express something, Miguel, or do you have a question or a comment or what? I have the, I have the another sentence. Ah, okay, perfect. Let me listen for to the, you. For the class, thank you. My kitchen has a dishwasher, a stove, and a blender. Very good. Miguel, would you like to explain us what is a dishwasher in Spanish, please? Eh, lavatrastos. Exactly. O lavaplatos, ¿verdad? O lavaplatos, sí. Uh -huh. Thank you, Miguel. Muchas gracias. Thank you. All right, my dear students, let's move on to the conversation time. <clears throat> okay. Now, there aren't any chairs. We have Chris and Linda. Uh, let me check, let me check. Vamos a ver el video first. Porque sí he visto que necesitan ese resource. Necesitan ver primero el video y luego verme a mí practicar. So here we go. Hi, everyone. In this class, you learn how to form statements with there is and there are. Also, how to use some, no, and any when referring to different objects. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled there aren't any chairs. This conversation illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's listen and practice the conversation. This apartment is great. Thanks, I love it, but I really need some furniture. What do you need? Oh, I need lots of things. There are some chairs in the kitchen, but there isn't a table. And there's no sofa here in the living room. And there aren't any chairs. There's only this lamp. So let's go shopping next weekend. Now, let's learn how to use there is and there are. I would like to start by demonstrating the examples on this chart. There's a bed in the bedroom. There's no sofa in the bedroom. There isn't a table in the kitchen. There are some chairs in the kitchen. There are no chairs in the living room. There aren't any chairs in the living room. <clears throat> okay, with that we have set. Con eso tenemos la practice de la conversation. Ahora nos vamos a la presentation. This apartment is great. Thanks. I love it. But I really need some furniture. What do you need? Oh, I need lots of things. There are some chairs in the kitchen, but there isn't a table. And there's no sofa here in the living room. And there aren't any chairs. There's only this lamp. So let's go shopping next week, right? Now it's your turn. Ahora es turno ustedes. Let me have Wendy Lopez. You are Linda. And Victor Ovidio, you are Chris. Action. This apartment is great. Thanks, I love it, but I really need some furniture. What do you need? Oh, I need a lot of things. There are some chairs in the kitchen, but there isn't a table. 
And there's no sofa here in the living room. And there aren't any chairs. Uh, there's only this lamp. So let's go shopping next weekend. Excellent. Thank you. Very good. Just, uh, Victor, repeat after me. Apartment. Apartment. Yes, very good. And this is for anyone else, right? Yes, esto es para todos los que están aquí. No tenemos you, a. You're welcome, Victor. No tenemos a después de la T, entonces decimos apartment. Thank you. Let's go with Mayra. Mayra, you are Chris. Usted va a ser Chris. And <clears throat> let me check. Guadalupe, you are Linda. Action. This apartment is great. Thanks, I love it. But I really need some furniture. What do you need? Well, I need a lot of things. There are some chairs in the kitchen, but there isn't a table. And, and there is no sofa here in the living room. And there aren't any chairs. There's only this lamp. So let's go shopping next weekend. Very good, excellent. Thank you, girls. Let me listen to Mayra. Mayra, repeat after me. Great. Great. Yes, thank you. Let's go with Ana Melendez. You are Linda. Usted va a ser Linda. Andrea, no, perdón. Ana, usted va a ser Chris. Andrea, usted va a ser Linda. Action. This apartment is great. Thanks, I love it. But I re but I really need some furniture. What do you need? Oh, I need lots of things. They're in the kitchen, but there isn't a table. And there's no sofa here in the living room. And there aren't any shares. There's only this lamp. So let's go shopping the next weekend. Very good, excellent girls. Thank you. Now I know that by this moment, sé que para este momento ya están cansados de seguro, right? You just wanna rest, solo quieren descansar. Ha sido Monday, un día lleno de tráfico, lluvia, people in general, All right? So sé que han pasado por mucho este día. But please, pero por favor, tratemos de poner el empeño que merecen las conversations. It's not for my benefit. No es para mi beneficio. Yo, I got it all. Yo ya lo tengo todo. Pero ustedes están aprendiendo y quiero ayudarlos con eso. Si vemos signos de puntuación, los respetamos. Si vemos eh, question marks, los respetamos. Hacemos la entonación de las preguntas. Porque para eso existen los question marks. Si tenemos exclamation marks, signos de admiración, Los respetamos, los usamos. So let's go shopping next weekend. Right? What do you need? Right? Cuando dice, I love it. Right? Let's get the intonation. The, let's try to respect it. Si los respetamos desde ahorita que están viendo la conversación, se les va a hacer súper fácil cuando ya ustedes les fluyan sus propias ideas al momento de conversar. Okay? So let's go with Miguel. Miguel, you are Chris. Jancy de Odanes, you are Linda. Action. This apartment is great. Thanks. I love it. But I really need some furniture. What do you need? Oh, I need love things. There are some chairs in the kitchen, but there is isn't a table. And there's no sofa here in the living room. And there aren't any chairs. There's only this lamp. So let's go shopping next weekend. Very good. Excellent. That was correct. Listen to everyone. Listen to this. Respetamos los, los, los exclamation marks y los eh, question marks. Pero me gustó que Jancy dijo en un momento, I love it, but I really need some furniture. O sea, ella fue regulando su voice tone. Sí, más Miguel, right? Lo mismo que Miguel. Cuando eran preguntas, se levantaba el tone voice. 
el voice tone, y eso es lo que se tiene que hacer. Plus, your pronunciation was excellent. Thank you, guys. Let's go Thank with you. Cindy. You are Linda, Cindy. <laughs> you are Linda. Let's go with Walter Muñoz. You are Chris. Action. This apartment is great. Thanks. I love it. But I really need some furniture. What do you need? Oh, I need a lot of things. There are some chairs in the kitchen, but there isn't a table. And there is no sofa hard in the living room. And there aren't any chairs. There's only this lamp. So let's go shopping next weekend. Very good. Excellent. I feel ya. All right. I was feeling reliable with you. Sentía que estábamos pasando por lo mismo. Very good. Y eso es lo que tiene que transmitir una conversation, all right? You gotta live for it. Tienen que vivirla, okay? Very good. Thank you. Let's go with the next one. Let me have Oscar, please. Oscar Otoniel, you are Chris. Let me look for your Linda. Vamos a buscar una Linda. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I know it sounds weird, but that's that's the name. Mm -hmm. Let me check. Uh, yeah. What about Allison? Action, Allison. Okay, action, um, Otoniel. This apartment is great. Thanks. I love it, but I really need some furniture. What do you need? Oh, I need I need lots of things. <laughs> there are some chairs in the kitchen, but there isn't a table. And there is no sofa here in the living room. And there aren't any chairs. There's only this lamp. So let's go shopping next weekend. Yes, bravo, very good. <clears throat> um, Otoniel is going to pay for your furniture, Alison. That's great. Él va a pagar todo lo que usted necesite. So that's awesome. Now, let me check. Let's go with the next one, the last pair, la última pareja. Let me have Carlos. Veamos si le funciona el micrófono, Carlos, que no le escuchaba en toda la clase. Because I don't know if it is your microphone or is that you are not in the class. How can I know? Okay, maybe you are not in the class. Let's go with Victor. Victor, did you already pass? ¿Usted ya pasó, Victor? Yes, teacher. Perfect. Ah, sí, ya recuerdo su voz. You're right. Um, let me check. Miguel, do you have a question? No, si quería voluntario, ahí está. Ah, ok, thank you, thank you. Yes, pero ahorita quiero enfocalizarme en los que no han pasado todavía. Uh, tenemos a Christian, Christian y Adriana. Adriana, yo creo que ya le funciona el micrófono porque ahí vi su... su mes. Yes, teacher. Hey, perfect. Adriana, yes. you are Linda. And Christian, you are Chris. Action. Uh, this apartment is great. Thanks, I love it. But I really need some furniture. Uh, what do you need? Oh, I need lots of things. There are some chairs in the kitchen, but there isn't a table. And there's no sofa there in the living room. And there aren't any chairs. There's only this lamp. Uh, so let's go to, to shopping next weekend. All right, excellent. Thank you. Very good. That was great. Thank you so much for your effort. Keep the good job, right? Continuamos trabajando para mantener la calidad. Excelente. Now, let's notice this. There is and there are. And Miguel, please read the first three sentences. Me lee las primeras tres oraciones. And then Guadalupe, the other three sentences. So basically, Miguel is going to be the singular ones and Guadalupe, the plural ones. Action. There's a bed in the bedroom. 
There's no sofa in the bedroom. There isn't a table in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. There's equal, there is. That's correct. Thank you. Perfect. Action one. There are some chairs in the kitchen. There are no chairs in the living room. There aren't any chairs in the living room. That's correct. Thank you. Notice, everyone, that basically the whole conversation Con lo que quiero que noten con esto es que toda la conversación giraba en torno del uso de there is and there are, right? So there is, we use it when it's singular that we are talking. Utilizamos there is cuando es singular, right? We're talking only one object. And we use there are when you are talking about plural, more than one object, okay? So let's, let me just check something. Okay, let's move on to the following. This is the structure. Esta es la estructura. Y esto tenemos que conocerlo, okay? So, for singular objects, can you tell me the structure, please? Cindy, what's the structure for singular objects? <clears throat> there plus is or isn't plus a or no plus complement. Excellent, thank you, right? So when you say there is a table, hay una mesa. There is no, there's not a table or there isn't a table, right? So there you go, that's when you use it. Now, with plural objects, let me listen to Wendy, please read the structure. Permítame, tengo dos Wendy's. Wendy Gabriela Ayala López y Wendy Jasmine Arevalo Nolasco. Oh, mind blowing. <ríe> Mi mente ahorita, <ríe> después de una semana, I'm sorry. Lo que pasa es que no se me conectan las dos. <ríe> Let's go, Wendy López, the one that has the camera open. Tiene la, la camarita abierta, please. Action. There plus R or aren't. Plus some, plus any, plus no, uh, plus complement. Thank you, all right? Voy a borrar esta slash, esta, sí, slash, all right? La slash significa pleca, all right? Mm -hmm. eh, esa se utiliza cuando tenemos más de una opción. Por ejemplo, como mencionó Wendy, are or aren't. Are o aren't. Pero en inglés el ao se dice or, ¿ok? Cuando estamos comparando. Lo mismo con plus. Some or any or no. Plus complement. Okay. Let's copy these structures on your notebooks, please. Copiemos esta estructura, por favor. Let me know when you finish taking notes. Me confirman cuando finalicen de tomar notas. Yes, Ana, I, um, I hear you. ¿Tiene duda o consulta o you want to participate? No, ya finalicé. 
Ah, all right, excellent. Thank you. Okay. Now, let's check the following, my dear students. We have two readings. Tenemos dos lecturas. So, bueno, solo Ana había finalizado o, o todavía les falta. So, let me know. Así se las dejo aquí, la screen. Because I don't know. Okay, I think you might have finished by now. Let's go with the readings. Two special houses. Let me share with you the video first. Vamos a escuchar los videos, por favor. Porque si vamos a hacer uso de ese resource. Hey, with this, oh my gosh, with this, huh? with this we finished section two. En esto finalizamos la sección dos. Ay, Diosito. Vamos a acabar todo el contenido antes. Very good. Let's listen to the video, please. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll develop skills in scanning and reading for details. Reading. Two special houses in the American Southwest. In San Antonio, Texas, there is a purple house. This house is the home of Sandra Cisneros. Um, sorry to interrupt your audio. Antes de... Lamento interrumpir su audio, pero prestan atención al vocabulary, cómo se pronuncia, aunque no lo vayan leyendo, ¿ok? Después yo lo tengo en grande en la presentation, pero ahorita prestémosle mucha atención a la pronunciation y la entonación del lector, right, Del narrador. Miss Cisneros is a Mexican-American writer. She is famous for her interesting stories. The house has a porch with a pink floor. The rooms are green, pink, and purple. There are many books and colorful paintings. Many other houses near Ms. Cisneros' house are white or beige, so her house is very different. Some of her neighbors think her house is too colorful, but Ms. Cisneros loves it. Every year, many people visit Arizona to learn about Native American tribes. Most people stay in hotels, but some people stay in traditional Native American homes called Hogan's. Lorraine Nelson, a teacher from Arizona, invites visitors to stay in her Hogan. It has three chairs, two beds on the floor, and a wood-burning stove. Ms. Nelson teaches her guests about Native American traditions. Now, with that being said, habiendo escuchado eso, <clears throat> let's go to this. Voy a sacar mi, mi varita mágica, o ya está, no, no está. Here we go. In San Antonio, Texas, there is a purple house. This house is the home of Sandra Cisneros. Mrs. Cisneros is a Mexican-American writer. She's famous for her interesting stories. The house has a porch with a pink floor. The rooms are green, pink, and purple. There are many books and colorful paintings. Many other houses near Mrs. Neros's house, remember Mrs. Neros's, Mrs. Neros's house are white or beige. So her house is very different. Some of her neighbors think her house is too colorful, but Mrs. Neros loves it. All right, so let's check. Do I have any volunteer? Tengo algún voluntario. Perfect, Mr. Melendez. Thank you. Action. In San Antonio, Texas, there is a purple house. This house is the home of Sandra Cisneros. Mrs. Cisneros is a Mexican-American writer. She is famous for her interesting stories. 
The house has a porch with a pink floor. The rooms are green, pink, and purple. There are many books and colorful paintings. Many other houses near Mrs. Cisneros's house are white or beige. So her house is very different. Some of her neighbors think her house is too colorful, but Mrs. Cisneros loves it. Excellent. Very good. Repeat after me. Loves it. Uh, loves love, it. Loves, loves it. Loves yes. it. Yes, that's correct. Así como se pronuncia. Loves it. Right? Loves it. Okay. Thank you. <coughs> You're welcome. Perfect. Another one. Alguien más que quiera practicar su reading, su vocabulary, su pronunciation. Challenge yourself. Retense a ustedes mismos. Okay. No me da pena teacher hacerlo en frente a usted. No, don't. All right, don't have any. Please, I beg you. Les ruego, no tengan pena, por favor. Excellent, Victor, let me listen to you, action. In San Antonio, Texas, there is a purple house. Big house is the home of Sandra Cisneros. Miss Cisneros is a Mexican-American greeter. She is famous for her interesting stories. The house has a porch with a pink floor. The rooms are green, pink, and purple. There are many books and colorful paintings. Many other houses near Mrs. Cisneros. House are white or beige. So her house is very different. Some of her neighbors see her house is too colorful, but Mr. Cineros loves it. Wow, excellent. Thank you, Victor. Wow, surprisingly. Sorprendentemente, muy bien. De hecho, inclusive si se fijaron, Victor dijo paintings, all right? Porque se puede decir así. De hecho, es más uh, North American saying it that way. Se escucha más... Um, Native American, sí, un poco más nativo en inglés. Paintings, all right? Yo dije paintings porque también se puede, pero ustedes pueden decir paintings. Si no les cuesta, go ahead. You have both choices. Otra cosa que he notado en las dos personas que pasaron que respetaron mucho la S que tenía al final Cisneros, all right? Lo dijeron así, Cisneros. Ahora bien, solo Víctor, uh, for you to practice, para que usted pueda practicar la palabra writer. 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 Yes, writer. Escritora. Very good. Thank you. Now, let's move to the next one. Vamos al siguiente reading. No todos me van a poder participar en este, pero mañana lo van a hacer, of course. Ahorita solo estamos calentando con dos personas per reading. Uh, do I have any volunteers? Tengo voluntarios para este reading. Si no, I pick and choose. Yo escojo. Let's check. Let's go with Jancy, please. Jancy Deodon, Deodanis. Uh, every year, many people visit Arizona to learn about Native American tribes. Most people stay in hotels, but some people stay in tradi traditional Native. America, American homes, Caleb, Caleb Hogan's, Lorraine Nelson, a teacher from Arizona, invites, invites visitors to stay in her home. It has three chairs, two beds on the floor, and a wood burning stove. Mr. Nelson teaches her guests about Native American tradition. All right, tradition. very good, Jansi. Thank you so yeah. much for your effort. La felicito por su esfuerzo, excelente. Thanks. Pensé que usted no se sentía confiada totalmente, pero lo hizo. Y eso es vencer nuestros miedos. Thank you. Ahora Thanks. va conmigo, please. Vamos juntas. En algunas palabritas que a todos nos cuestan, because it's the first time. Yeah. Es la primera vez. Native. Native. Um, traditional. Traditional. Traditions. 
traditions. Miss. Means. Yes, very good. Y la otra que sería Hogan. Hogan. Yes. All right, yeah. we're going, thank you so much, Jancy. Muchas gracias. Thank you. You're welcome. We're going to stop with Jancy because I want you to go right now to practice on your platform. Eh, si todavía no se duermen, vayan a practicar un poquito en la plataforma. <clears throat> Por favor, finalicemos section two. Eh, what else? What else? ¿Qué más? Mañana voy a iniciar con estos readings. Así que para mañana, eh, ese vocabulary ya tiene que estar un poquito más perfeccionado, right? No quiero escuchar native ni, ni otra palabra que no sea la que hemos pronunciado ahora varias veces. Okay? With that being said, thank you so much for coming and I'll see you tomorrow. Nos vemos mañana. Bye. Have a great see night. Pleasure. Good night. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. 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 Good night. Bye. Bye. Good night. Bye.